No Milo, it's probably Ronaldo who's come on that top or something. Like Hamilton! Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome to my channel. Before I start this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed recently. We've smashed 200 subscribers, which is insane. Honestly, didn't think that would happen this quickly. So, massive thank you to every single one of you guys. This video is going to be a little bit different. We are going away from the career mode for a second and we're back on our team. We're going to do a bronze squad builder. I've got an idea for a series where I kind of try and put together the best bronze teams the best silver teams possible and we see if they can hang against some gold squads so we're doing bronze this time let's get into the video as you can see on the screen this is the bronze team i am talking about okay there's three players that i'm mainly interested in using one of which i've used before and they have been in a previous video of mine that is this man cj absolute unit of a player he played a front in my english bronze team and this guy is crazy good high high work rates three star three star not a lot to shout about to be fair Shooting stats, nothing incredible. Agility balance is a bit on the low side, but the pace, the shot power, it carries this card. The main two talking points about this team are my left mid and my right mid. These guys look incredible. Okay, we're starting off in the Spanish second tier with my man, Inigo Munez. The man's got four star skills, guys. It's very hard to find bronze cards with four star, four star, or four star skills alone, but this man has it. Medium low work rates, five foot five. He's got a bit of pace, the agility, the balance, the four star skills. I'm super excited to give him a go. The other bronze beast to be is this man. Australian in the Danish league for Randers FC. Three star, four star, high low work rates, five foot 11. And this guy has the pace to burn. A bit of agility, a bit of balance. But the finesse shot trait with his 56 curve. They go, well, they go very well together, so I'm excited to try those out. We're going to be playing this team in a 4-3-3. That is my go-to for bronze teams. These three are my midfield. Yearwood, absolute unit. Used it before. Probably one of my favourite bronze cards, to be fair. This stat, look at the stats. Oh, it's on. Look at the stats. Look at the stats, guys. Unreal card. He's going to be partnered alongside Evans, who is also insane. I used him in a previous squad. If you guys want to see that, the little information tag above my head will take you through to my bronze English squad builder. The spearhead of the midfield is this man, Louis Dennis. Four star, four star. Yes, four star, four star bronze card. Super excited to use him. I mean, it's a running trend, okay? With bronze cards that I go for, you need a bit of pace, decent agility, decent balance, and a bit of stamina in the midfield, and that pretty much should do the job for me. Our left back and our right back are purely here for the strong links. You've got Alex Gerbash. He looks okay, to be fair, for a bronze left back. He's got the pace, the agility, decent-ish defending and physical stats, and this man over here, Jorge Mier. Fuck, that's a nerd. Just butcher it every time. Nothing too spectacular. Again, a bit of pace, a bit of agility. Physicals are a bit on the lower side, but defending stats are pretty average. So the triangle at the back, the two centre-backs, we have Sebastian Ibega. Low high, he's got the pace, he's got the physical stats, the strength, the defending stats. He looks like a really good card, actually. And to partner him, we've got someone who pretty much duplicates his stats. Got Donovan Pines. He's six foot five. this guy. Low medium, so very deep back two, which is perfect. Bring on the pressure and hope that, you know, we can somehow jab you a save or a tackle out of it. He's got a bit more strength than his counterpart, a bit more agility as well. It looks like a decent card. And in goal, we have Richard Sanchez. You could honestly pick any MLS goalkeeper. I picked Richard Sanchez because he's the first one I saw. Literally bought him instantly. His stats are okay. He's six foot three. He's a bronze goalkeeper. What can you expect him to do, guys? So that is the team. I'm going to hop into some classic friendlies, try and play against some sweaty gold teams, and see if these guys can get a W. 4 3 3, custom tactics are balanced across the board. Let's get into it. So we've actually managed to find a game. I'm recording this at 8 30 in the morning on a Tuesday, and I blinked and I missed this team. I saw Neymar, I saw some super sweaty cards. Maybe Pele as well, I don't know if I'm seeing things. But we've got a game on our hands. As I said, three games, back to back to back. One win is what we're going for, all right? I'm not gonna fake it as well. I'm not gonna play until we get a win. We get up three games to make this happen, guys. So let's go. Um, 
Bobby Firmino's freeze card, man, and that's 1-0. This is gonna be difficult, but don't write us out yet. Bronze cards are super powerful. Trust me. <laughs> Come on, boys. Oh, it might be a guy there. What a ball. Smash it. I probably should not have shot in that situation, but we got in behind. I told you it's possible. Be offside. He's not offside. Here we go, here we go boys, Yearwood with the pace, up against Bobby, play it back in the middle, CJ, one more, keep the ball going, hit that, oh see we're getting chances, big save for the keeper, That had to be a goal. We're all over this guy right now. We're creating the chances. We probably should have scored. Um, hopefully it's only a matter of time, guys. Ooh, bit of space. CJ. Take the pot like there. Ref? Penalty? Penalty! Let's go, guys. We've done it. We're going, oh my lord. Let's go. <laughs> the size of that circle for a second was terrifying. That's the goal and it's very well deserved. This game's not over yet, guys. What is this? Okay, here we go. Game number two. If this is the same guy, I'll be fuming. All right, so only, this one we've only got Ronaldo, Maradona, four icons. What have I signed up for? I might cry, honestly. I might just, I might just give up. Oh, the space. Ronaldo's in, guys. I'm a one nil done. So close! Here we go. Go on the moon, let's go on. Use that pace. Keep the ball. And again. I don't believe it. The Maradona turn, the roulette, the finish was there and we've missed again. How are we not level with this guy? These centre-backs have been absolutely class, by the way, guys. Look at the state of this team. Try using a full bronze team against the team that has Ronaldo, Maradona, Kante, Rashford, Awar, Desai. It's not fun. Um, but we're going to keep going. We've got one more game to get that W. And let's bounce back. But our last game. For this one, we're mixing the kit up. Maybe that's a, a good omen now. And we are up against the K. Okay, this is more like it. Not a single icon in this team. Hello, go on. This guy's a bit of a tank, you know. CJ! Yes! Come on! Hamilton, 1-0 up. 
That was all our Aussie boy on the left. He has so much power keeping that ball. And it's a goal, boys. I don't know what my opponent's doing here. We're in his head already. Oh no, dear lord. Big save. These defenders are putting in a big stint at the back. Oh, boys, what, are you watching a bronze team or prime Barcelona right now? I honestly don't know, but it's hard to tell. Whiskers wide again, CJ. I probably should have done a bit better with the shooting in that situation, but no, my luck is probably Ronaldo's come on up top or something, isn't it? Hamilton. Always. I am about to say always reliable, but he's missed about five, six sitters so far in this video. But my man has put us 2 nil up. I thought the fake shot had taken it away from him. However, I was wrong. Who's that? Who's he bought on then? I'm scared, guys. I'm not scared. You've got the best bronze team in FIFA 21. Are you on side? Are you off? I don't know. He's on. CJ for the hattie. This feels so good, guys. Finally, it looks like we've got the W, which means we haven't failed. One win out of three is awesome. But God, it's been a tough, tough past two games. But CJ has bagged his hat trick. Is he the best bronze card in FIFA 21? I've not seen much better. Lovely bit of play. Oh, he's been decked. Oh, we'll have that back though. We'll take a bit of luck. Damn right we will. That's four. It's CJ again. I don't know what happened. He got fouled. I thought it was a free kick. The ball came back to me still on the floor and delivers a ball like that into Mr. Clinical up top, CJ Hamilton. And that's 4-0. Isn't it a beautiful sight, guys? We get a W. At the end of the day, Hamilton gets four goals. And it was a well-deserved win. So there we have it, guys. That is the end of episode one of the best bronze team in FIFA 21. We managed to get one win out of three, but some of the teams that we faced were absolutely insane. The likes of Ronaldo, Maradona, Desai, Pele, for example. But these boys could hang. It was close games in every single one, and we managed to get the victory at the end. A massive 4-0 rage quit. So overall, guys, I'm going to give this team a 7 out of 10. Purely for the fact that we only won one game, I can't go any higher than that. Some of the players were outstanding. Hamilton, Yearwood, as always. Dennis was good fun with a 4-star, four 4-star. Four Munoz, really quick, agile player to use. The main man over here, Malloy Snitch. Once again, powerful, strong, bit of a powerhouse going down the left wing. Two massive shout-outs for these boys at the back. All right, I'll leave some, I would have left some clips in there of these guys absolutely pocketing the likes of Ronaldo, Pele, you name it, these guys could hang with the best of the best. Really good defenders, and the goalkeeper as well made a few good saves also. Let me know down below bronze cards you think I should look to put into my second episode. I might look to do a silver version of this very soon. We've got the likes of these guys on the bench, some of the players that I liked using in the past. So let me know your suggestions down below, guys, and I'll definitely put them into consideration going into the next episode. Anyway, I've been Morsi. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're new around here, please consider dropping a like. If you enjoyed this video, maybe subscribe. Come back for more. Anyway, I'll catch you very soon, guys. Take care of yourself. Take it easy.